Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you seven Python automation project ideas. These are ideas for projects in which you create an automation for a certain task. So if you have a task that you do repetitively all the time, you could then automate it, get Python to do it for you, therefore saving you time while also developing your Python skills and maybe creating a project for your resume. So I will cover seven different ideas. I will give suggestions and libraries for each idea. Now, while I can't show you or give you a tutorial for them in this short video, maybe in the future, if there is demand, I can create a video tutorial for each project idea. All right, so an outline of what we're going to cover. I already introduced everything. I'm going to give a small overview in just a second. Then I'll show you some notable libraries that you can use. So these are libraries you will use a lot, no matter what kind of task you're basically automating. So these are very common. And then seven different ideas for Python automation projects. Finally, I will end with one bonus idea. So this is something that you can implement if you choose to. So why would you want to build an automation project? Now we already talked about this a bit, but I'm going to go a bit more in depth here. So this is really good for your Python learning path. So if you're a Python, who, a Python beginner or maybe intermediate, this is really good because you're going to learn some new skills. You're going to use more advanced skills and libraries. So this is going to take a bit more effort. And this way you will learn multiple things. And also you may use APIs. Now APIs are really cool because they demonstrate that you are an advanced programmer. If you use an API for any website or service online, this definitely gives your project more complexity and more depth. So. This is why it's good for your Python learning path. Now, it's also good for resume projects. So if you are applying for jobs and you have a resume and you add these projects to your resume, this shows great initiative and creativity. It shows you can build complex projects and it shows advanced use of Python and of APIs. So this is really good as well. So with all these ideas, you can create a Python script that's going to run and automate these tasks for you. However, you can also go one step further and add a GUI or a graphical user interface to achieve a well-rounded project. This means if you have a desktop app that is automating all these tasks for you, it's an even bigger project because here you added a GUI, you added um, an API or a library or whatever you chose to use, and you have your whole Python script automating something. So it's definitely a bigger project, a more complex one, which I highly suggest that you do this if you want a larger project. All right, so we talked a lot. What are some notable libraries? Here you have the requests library. So this is a library used to send HTTP requests. Now, if you are using any website's API, this is going to be really useful and you will probably use the requests library. So this library, you send HTTP requests, you get some data back or some information, or maybe you perform a certain action through this request library. Second is the Twilio library. So this is really, really popular and really common because Twilio is usually the library you go to whenever you want to receive text messages or calls or things like that. So if you want your automations, if you're tracking something or you're automating something and you want to receive a text message alert every time, then Twilio is probably the library that you will use. So keep it in mind, make sure you learn how to use it because anytime you want to receive text messages, you will probably go back to this library. Third, is Selenium. Selenium automates anything usually on websites and on browsers. Selenium is very, very popular. I'm sure you can find millions, thousands of tutorials online of how to use Selenium. It's really popular. It's one of the most popular Python libraries for automating browsers and websites. Finally is SMTP library. So this is a typo, it's definitely just SMTP lib without the B in the middle. But essentially this library helps you send emails with Python. So if you're automating something and you want to receive certain alerts in your email, you will probably use this library. All right, so what are the seven ideas? Idea one is web scraping. So here you want to extract data from websites using this web scraping, and then you want to save this data either locally or on the cloud. You can scrape blog posts. You can maybe, if you're into football, you can extract data about all football matches for a given day. You can scrape uh, job posts for a certain position. So here, essentially what you want to do is you want to get data from websites and save it somewhere. This is the idea of web scraping. This is also very popular, so I had to mention it. It is a type of automation at the end of the day. 
So if you have a certain interest, maybe some websites that you visit a lot and you want to get all their data but you don't want to manually copy and paste it, this is probably what you should use. Some libraries are beautiful soup and scrapey and you can also use Selenium of course because it automates everything from websites. Now second is some PDF automations. So if you have, if you work with a ton of PDFs, maybe sometimes you want to extract text, merge PDFs, rotate pages, duplicate pages, a bunch of PDF operations, you can automate any of those tedious tasks using a library called PyPDF2. So you can create a script that will merge 10 PDFs together, maybe rotate some pages, duplicate some stuff. This is really useful if you use PDFs a lot and it's definitely a great automation to have. Of course, you can take it one step further and build a graphical user interface, a desktop app that goes ahead and does all this thing for you and presents it in a visual manner. The third idea is document automations. Here you would automate Google Docs or Microsoft Word. An example, let's say every Sunday at 7 p.m. you want a Google Doc to be created that contains your weekly agenda and your tasks and things like that. So you can create a Python script that uses the Google Docs API and then on every Sunday at 7 p.m. this script, what it should do is create a new document that already contains a template for your weekly plan. So here you're creating a document based out of a template. Of course, you can use Google Docs, so the Google Docs API. You can use Microsoft Word, so there's a library for this. It's very simple called Python-Docs. So you can go ahead and use that one for Microsoft Word. And of course, this is just a suggestion, the whole weekly agenda. You can use it to create any template of documents. Let's say you want to create 100 documents for some random reason. You can go ahead and do that using the Python code. Now, idea number four, automate WhatsApp replies. So you can have a Python script that automates replying to your WhatsApp chats when you are busy. So let's say, for example, you schedule four hours of deep, uninterrupted work. You do not want anyone to text you. You want to focus completely on your work. You have a deadline or something. Maybe you do this daily. So you can do an automation where this Python script will use WhatsApp web from your desktop. And what it will do is it will reply to all your new chats at work will reply later or busy will reply later, things like that. Now you can use the request library with the WhatsApp API. You can use Selenium to automate WhatsApp web in your browser. So of course there are multiple ways you can go about doing this, but these are some suggestions. Now idea number five, you have a finances or a crypto tracker. Now, if you have a lot of investments or cryptocurrencies, you can use the APIs provided by online brokers to maybe create a dashboard that tracks these investments, shows you whether your investments are high or low that day. You can create a visual dashboard with charts and graphs and all those things, or you can just create one that will check your investments and send you the daily value as a text message or an email. So this goes back to using Twilio or the SMTB library to either get emails or WhatsApp chats indicating your investments and what's going on with them that specific day. Now here I also, this is another example, you create a dashboard, tracks your crypto investments using the Binance API. Binance is a very, very popular broker used worldwide. So if you use Binance, you can use the API and keep track of everything you have in your account. Now, you can also use the CoinMarketCap API. So CoinMarketCap is a website that has all the information about cryptocurrencies. So you can use that to get any information about the value of cryptocurrencies on a specific day. Now, idea number six is, let's say you're really into movies or TVs, series, things like that. You want to keep track of anticipated release dates. And this is actually something that I use personally because I, I'm into lots of movies that, and I always like to keep track of when they're coming out. So I used to put these in my calendar and it would be very annoying to have to go manually insert an event in your calendar and be like, this movie is being released on X day in November, for example. So you can build a tracker that will keep track of your anticipated movie and TV series. So you'd keep track of the dates and then you could potentially receive email alerts or text message alerts like we talked about before when an anticipated movie drops. So you can use the IMDB API or the IMDB Pi library. So the first one is an API. You would access it using the requests library. The second one is a wrapper for the IMDB API. So this is much easier to use. So it's up to you which one you use, but this is definitely another automation idea. 
And finally, the seventh idea is automate news sources. So if you have multiple websites that you visit on the daily, so you can get your daily news, maybe one of them is about sports, one of them is about politics, one of them is about tech. So these are all different sources. You can create a script that will go on these websites every day, retrieve all the new news for you and send it to you in one email. That way, Every day you can wake up and check this one email and read the news, the news from all these websites in a single page or one specific place. So the libraries, you can use a web scraper, of course, like Beautiful Swoop, and then you can use SMTP to send the email to yourself. So we've covered these seven different ideas as well as some suggestions. The final, final idea, the bonus idea that I talked about is something that's going to be specific to you. So I obviously cannot predict what you guys do on the daily. Everyone has different work tasks, different things that they do every single day. Look at the things that are mundane that you do every day that take up a certain amount of time and then try to automate your own tasks. Believe me, I'm sure there is one library or one API out there that you can use with Python to automate this specific task. Task. So I gave some suggestions, but I'm pretty sure if you take a look at your own life, you can find things that you can automate. And this will be a great project that you create that you can use every day and you can also list on your resume. All right, so that's really it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Do let me know if you'd like to see tutorial breakdowns of any of these projects. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.